What's up, guys? This is your boy Beastamon. And apparently, Hulis is used this this whole time, which I couldn't care less. However, we're not gonna let that fool get away with uh, tricking us into murdering four people. So yes, we haven't we have a challenge issued to him, oh, to issued from him. Well, actually, it's both, <laughs> because we both agreed on this mutually. So let's see what we can do. Okay. <laughs> so yes, we have to meet him on Tatooine. In addition, if you don't remember from last episode, Joggy challenged Candorus. And I guess Zor kinda challenged Ju Juhani, so Wow. Uh, we got a lot of things to do in Tatooine. Although I have no idea when Zora's going to pop up again. His is more like a random encounter where Joggy is guaranteed. Uh, we're supposed to meet him in, in the uh, Dune Sea and uh, I don't know. But what I probably can guarantee is we will at least have one flight simulator, which will piss me off. I am not happy about that. And I figure since I can't skip any of this. Oh yeah, what's that music? Of course, because why the fuck not? See, this game, okay, I don't know if you guys have ever played Saints, uh, the Saints World the first one. I'm, I'm, I'm relating this to my, uh, actually, give me a second. I need to check something. Okay. Sorry about that. So, I'm going to relate this to the first Saints Row. For those of you who have not, uh, for those of you who have played it, sorry. I'm trying to shoot and talk at the same time, which doesn't do me any good. But, uh, so... Anyone who's played first Saints Row knows whenever they acquire uh, a certain neighborhood, they instant, well not instantaneously, but almost instantaneously get called for a pushback where the, uh, the rival gang try to get back the territory, you know, the neighborhood that was lost to them. But it happens like almost every freaking time. You know, the whole one step forward going two steps back. Yeah, that's what that is. That, like, this is that's literally what this is. So yeah, we managed to kill them, which wasn't surprising. My game better not freeze on me either. Yeah, we conquered them. Hooray. Get me the fuck out of here. Can't go nowhere. Can't go nowhere. We can't skip this cutscene either. Yeah, we're going to Tatooine. Ah, uh, there we go. I hate when you can't skip part of the cutscene, but they'll let you skip the later part of it. My Cathar bloods, he will pay. Yeah, 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 Juhani. I thought you were going to say something worthwhile. And let's talk to Candace about. I've been given a challenge I can't ignore. This is between me. Okay, yeah, we, we've already talked to him about that. I thought they were going to say something slightly different. So, of course, we're going to bring both of them along. You know what I find about Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic? I love this game, but I don't have patience for certain things that happen. I don't have patience for rude people. I don't have patience for uh, meaningless parts of the game. I just don't have patience. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm not really sorry at all. Like, what the hell? Oh my god, this chair squeaky is almighty. I gotta get me a new I gotta get me a new chair. <laughs> I've been using this chair for years. Okay. So I have to defeat dumbass Hulas. 
which I was never really privy to, if you couldn't tell. Like, I wasn't, like, aware of, you know, certain things he was trying to pull off. Like, when I, whenever I did this, uh, whenever I did the quest with, uh, who was when I was little, I was like, oh, okay, well, whatever, you wanna, yeah. Cause I never really read through the dialogue, read through the dialogue, so, just to catch you up in case you didn't see it. Hulus was like, thank you for killing the other figureheads of the Gina Haradon. Now I'm the only one left. And it's like, the problem is, though, it's fine that you're the, that you're the figurehead and all that, but you're not powerful. Here's the thing. People that are figureheads that are powerful are more dangerous. Why? Because that's the thing with RPG games in general, actually. People will ask you to do something, and then all of a sudden they backstab you. It's like, well, that's fine, but I'm the one who's been doing all the work, so you know I'm more powerful than you. So why not? <laughs> it, it doesn't make any sense. It's like, uh, it, it's kind of messed up. It's like there's the figurehead and then there's the person behind the figurehead. And the person behind the figurehead is more powerful, but they don't like being a public, they don't like being a public figurehead. That's the point. So whenever someone asks you to do a favor and it's crooked as hell, I'm going to save. And they, you know, they don't do anything on their own right. And then they usurp the quote unquote, they insert, uh, usurp the throne that's not there. I mean, you gotta know that person's not really powerful in the first place. They're powerful with their mouth. That's why they're the figurehead, but nothing else. They're not powerful physically. And they might be power, powerful uh, mentally, but. No. And of course, I didn't come alone. I knew you were too much of a coward to come alone. I wasn't. Whenever I met you before, I was alone. Exactly, you just proved my damn point. Dude, get the fuck out of here. I'm not gullible. You're right, it doesn't matter. Okay, select the, select the new ones. They'll be better than you. No, one of them was with a droid. You're wrong. And one of them had a henchman. You're wrong. They were not. Un they were unprepared. But they weren't alone. See this dude. How would you know if they were alone? You wouldn't know. You. You know what? I don't have patience for you. Oh look, everybody's frozen. Let's wreck these dumb motherfuckers. See, you gotta call people out in their shit in this game. You don't get to a dialogue. That's where I come in. Talking all that shit. You ain't did nothing. Oh, look, Hulus was the first one dead. Can you believe that? That's so surprising. Oh, my freaking God. I done seen people that were less threatening, so I thought, and they kicked my ass. Like, waxed it, okay? And then this dude, he's got, well, let's see, one, two, he's got like, five, what, five people helping him? Probably even more than that. No, he's got, what, seven people? Somewhere between four and seven people helping him. And, oh my god, dude, you were a waste of time. Only thing that's good about you is the loot you had. Oh, a Gina Hardon blaster, yes. What do you have? Oh, 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 Wow, wow. Out of all the stuff, okay, he had the mesh armor, okay. But don't we already have that? Okay, maybe I should give Candace an upgrade since he's worked so goddamn hard. I was going to give him Kalinord stuff, which probably would help. But let's see. Uh, we don't need... Okay, yeah, we probably should. Just give him Kalinord's old stuff. Uh, of course, we're going to let him keep his repeating blast. I, I, uh, it would be a dick move not to. And I'm going to give you the nerve amplifier belt. 
I think a season this candor says he would never get fooled by someone's, you know, mind tricks. Okay, how's Juhani? Uh, Juhani's doing good. Yep. Okay, we got everything. Yeah, so I'm the only one that's not protected, but that's fine. Against mind tricks, because I have this. Oh, yeah, did you notice? Um, oh, God. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure it was Malik who did it. When somebody hit us with, uh, and Dark Jazz will do that a lot. They will hit you with electrical attacks. I didn't take any damage from that, so that's why you should get that. But yeah, I could easily replace uh, the retinal combat implant with the nerve enhancer package. Don't, I wouldn't do it. I would not do it. Whoa, whoa, whoa I did not mean to do that. <laughs> so we killed Hulas. And, oh, a poison blade. Nice. Maybe I'll give it to Mission. Are those raids over there? Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Pretty sure there's nothing in here. I'm pretty sure these raids are more dangerous than you guys were. Yep, okay, let's take them out and see if we can do something with them. Okay. Now, these raids are probably more threatening than those guys were. Maybe not, but then again, these raids, there's only three of them. You had twice as many people, and you still failed. You still failed. I, I, don't, I don't know what to say about that. Okay. I don't have patience for stupid people, like I said. We can actually take these to the Hunter's Lodge and get money for them. Oh, hi. See, this one's putting up a fight. You see how much damage it's doing? See, this is what you guys should have did. And I bet you when we do meet Joggy somewhere out here, he's going to give us more of a challenge too. Huh? Yes. Actually, at this rate, Juhani and I are pretty close as far as... uh. Oh, well, she's more... Yeah, see, I'm... Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. She's more of a light side uh, Jedi than I am. Me, I'll probably be neutral when all this is done with. I don't care. I've always wanted to be a great Jedi. Like, the only one we have is Jolie. With good reason, of course. Oh, shit. There, there he is. I knew he was out here somewhere. Ah, so you managed to come after all. I see you brought friends. You brought some of your own as well. Ha! Indeed I did. I foresaw that you might need help, so I arranged a distraction. Well, Joggy, the fact of the matter is the game wouldn't let me just release Candace on his own just to do this. You talk too much and do too little. Honestly, he really does, but I can't my own will. I do not need to hear your excuses, Jedi. I know what. Yes, you do. Apparently, you had a problem with us being Johnny. here. Let's do what we came here. I think both of you are acting like children. Yes, but children who can. Ah, I got your ass. You <laughs> gotcha, bitch. About, Jedi. This is a matter of honor. I cannot stand by this insult. I must do this. Okay, need to ask, why do you need to fight Candorus? In the battle above the world of Althier, he ordered us to attack the enemy flank, promising us support. But when he saw better prospects for his own glory, he abandoned us and left us to die. So it doesn't exactly sound Candorus, but I wouldn't if be surprised I had if he did it. Attacked when I did, the battle would not have been won so easily. It would still have been won. You sent your own men. Well, to technically, die by his words, yes. But I you don't know if it would have been that easy in the first place. It would have been. Okay. That's not the way it happened. He doesn't understand. See, he said, see, that's why you gotta be careful with your words. It's just like when people say, oh, well, I didn't want our relationship to end this way, but you did want it to end. You just didn't want it to end this way. So the fact he said, the fact that Kendra said, 
it wouldn't have been won so easily. And Jaggi said, it still would have been won. I have to agree with Jaggi on that one. You got to be careful with your wording here. As I know, because I have, you know, yeah, whenever I talk, word salad comes out. <laughs> so, yeah, you got to be careful with your words here. Why did you abandon them? The Alfiri were fighting hard. I saw a break in their defenses that left their center exposed. I had to take the chance. Wow, Kander sound defensive. What I did, many more warriors would have died and the battle Only another warrior would make longer. him sound like that. I stand by my decision. You coward. You glory hunter. You were given direct orders and were part of a plan. You had a responsibility to us. But here's the thing. He I didn't have time this, to tell you guys. Necessary. He had to react. What he did was, a, I, I gotta be honest, what he did was a smart tactical move. I have had enough of your prat, and we shall settle this now. Fine. Now, there are other ways to do this as well. So, I'm going to um, also probably show you, I'm pretty sure there are. Now, I don't like this fight already because, um... Well, I don't like this fight already because we technically Candace didn't kill Jackie, I did. But yeah, there are other ways to handle this. I'm not sure I have enough persuasion to do it. Only thing is, I, I don't know if I want to go back and show you uh, show you guys. I think I'll do it when the recording's over with. Um, because I don't want to waste too much time, so I'll just tag it on at the end. Um uh, I will tell you this though, if I do end up doing that, it may alter how Candace feels. I I think this has affected me in ways I, I didn't anticipate. I think I'll need Because there is a way from what I remember that you guys you, you don't uh fight each other. I just need uh, in return, Jaggi's gonna end up killing himself anyways. So, yeah. Actually, you know what? I think I will include it in the footage. So, I should have saved. But I didn't know we was going to run into him at that moment. I'm going to see if I can get a different dialogue choice. So, bear with me. I should see uh, how long have we been in this episode. Okay, so we've done this for a fair amount of time. Okay, no problem. Um, I didn't plan on um actually being on Korriban this episode and doing anything anyways. So, yeah. You'll have to excuse that. We're gonna we're gonna fight Hulus again. Think about this as a chance for uh Hulus to redeem himself as far as not sucking. I'm giving you a second chance here. Don't fuck it up. Oh my god. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's go. Oh, I just hit my headset. As you can see, I'm very goofy, too, when I play. Oh, he, oh, he actually saved. Wow, kudos. Sometimes you have to give a person a second chance. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Juhani has a um, force jump. I totally forgot about that. Oh yeah, force jump is uh, exclusive to uh yeah because I saw her I saw her jump. So force jump is exclusive to Jedi Guardians. And pretty much what it does is it makes it so you automatically leap from one opponent to the other. If you do a regular attack, is it a regular attack or a power attack? I forget which one. I don't remember. Okay, I'm just gonna leave him frozen there. Okay, you guys, do you guys have them or not? Okay, looks like Juani needs help. They're putting up more of a fight this time, but not much more of a fight. I was gonna say, let me help Candorous, but okay. Same result, okay. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 I didn't mean to talk to you, bye. So, uh, yeah, um, I'll, I'll give Hulus a little bit more credit for a saving, but his men did a better job than he did still. 
My god, he sucks. Okay, so let's let's try to speed down here. So I don't know exactly what it takes to uh show the other uh I I I'd say the other choice rather than the other cutscene. But we're gonna find out. Cause this is more of a choice. You can choose to try to uh, make Jaggy understand. Uh, I wouldn't even say make, cause that's force persuasion. But to convince Jaggy that technically what he did was a very tactical move. At least that's what I think. It's like, would you rather keep going with the plan and losing lives, or take a chance, even though your life could end, so everybody else can live? Like it's not that hard to figure out, really. If you have a chance to save everyone by making a risky move, I say do it, especially if you were the leader. It's like, and I was thinking as long as they're fighting a war, that they'd understand who the leader was. You sacrificed the rest of us. Well, guess what? You both, you signed, you signed up for it, so you don't get to complain about it later. I don't know. I just. I just find his bitching and whining a little bit stupid, for a lack of a better word. Like that. Oh my god, that's so stupid. For a lack of a better word, I will call it that. Oh, I did not mean to make a new slot. Oh well. So I'm gonna see if I can find these other choices, cause. It's not like I don't feel right killing Joggy. Actually, most of the time, you know, I play this game. Uh, I didn't know that you could, there, there was an option to try to, you know. But yeah, apparently you can convince uh, Joggy that, and I think it has something to do with if you insult him at the beginning. I think the more you insult him, the more his pride gets hurt and the more he'll want to attack you. But hey, it's not my fault. You brought some of your own. Okay, we're just gonna. You talk too much and do too little. I'm just gonna say that. Enough of this talk, Joggy. I think you both need to calm down. We both know the stakes here, and we both know what we must do. It is only in death that this can end. This is a matter of honor. In the battle of Next time I ask Candace the question. He but when he saw but Yeah, yeah, so we get the idea. Yeah, yeah. It would still have That's not the way. The Alfieri were fight if I had not done what I Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I Okay. I have had enough of your and we shall settle. Yeah, so there was a way to do it. I don't remember how, but I remember one time I I did do it. So I'm gonna mess around with a couple more dialogue options. Uh, okay, so I do confess that I didn't plan on this episode um, going to Corbin. We're gonna to go. To, we're gonna to go to Corbin. But um, the thing is, I want to try to close all doors as far as side quests for now. And there will be a, a moment in the game where we won't be able to do any more side quests. So. It's kind of important also uh, to me to finish that before that moment happens. I like how the raids run. So I'm curious, would you guys keep a raid, a dubek, or, or a bantha as like a pet? And when I say like a pet, I don't mean like, oh, let's keep them in your kitchen, you know. I mean like if you had like, you know, a place to actually keep them in the desert. Which one would you keep? I don't think I would do a do back. I'm sorry. I, I, do backs are not. I don't know. Ah, you brought some of. Ha! I don't yeah. know about do backs. It, it would have to be between the bantha and the raids. I do not need to hear enough of this talk. I think you both we need both to calm down. Here, and we both know what. This is a matter. Of okay. Why do you need to fight him, Candace? He has slandered me and questioned my honor. Among the man, I speak truth. 
And honor is the question here. When you saw prospects for... If I had not... A it would still have been won. That's not the way it happened. The Alfiri were fighting... If I had not... You coward. I... Yeah, so I'm pretty sure we can't convince... We probably can't convince... My I probably need my persuasion even higher, which I can't do right now. So if he dies, I mean... I have had enough of... And we shall... So let me check. I doubt there's anything I could change. I could do to change his thoughts about this. I could try to force persuade, but I think Candace would be pretty pissed if I tried doing that. Plus, there's no point. So yeah, I guess we can kill him. I mean, either way, I'm pretty sure we have to kill him. Any well, I'm pretty sure he would die anyways. Yeah, I don't think we have any items that can, you know. Like, I'm not afraid to kill Joggy. It's just that this whole um, this whole playthrough is all based on me doing things I normally don't do as far as choices I make in the game. Because there's so many different uh, areas you could choose to uh, either level up or, in, in the case of Persuade, uh, you know. Get people to understand what you're talking about. So I'm gonna reload one more time, then I'm gonna blast his ass into next week. <laughs> so yeah, this is pretty uneventful. Uh, what is it? Yeah, it is this one. So, I mean, we can kill this guy. I mean, I do feel more bad for Joggy because he doesn't understand how war works. You don't understand what being a... Uh, I, I'm surprised he doesn't understand what being a soldier is. When you, when you join the ranks, you agree to accept the ranks. Now, I'm not a military person, but you have to know going in what you're signed up for. Now, of course, there are things that are considered treason and all that stuff. But... You're the only one that has a complaint about this, dude. By the way, before we leave, I need to get paid from the, uh, for these raids. I'm not sure how much we get paid. Is it 300 per or 200 per? I don't know. Oh, I'm, I'm eager. But yeah, we try to convince him. Uh, you brought some of your own. Ha! <laughs> I'm not going to say Candace works for me because he doesn't. Big words from such. Enough of this talk! I do think you're boy like yes, children now. Children who can. This is a matter of honor. I cannot. Yeah, yeah, I don't give a damn if you can't stand me insulted. I like how men who are so prideful get upset with the smallest thing. In the battle of butt when he saw but if I had not a it would still have been won. That's not the way The Alfiri were f if I had not done what I you coward you glo I I have had it. Okay, let's do it. I'm tired of this shit I'm gonna leave him to you Candorous, but if he comes over to me understand I'm gonna wax that ass You got him Candorous Like I said, if he come over here, though, I'm whooping his ass. Rodian, no. Just stop. So, yeah. Uh, to me, Doggy's a fucking nobody. But I would like Candorous to be a little bit happier. But either way, he's going to react the same way. And Joggy does not have any. I hope you took Joggy's remain. I. I think this has affected me in ways I, I didn't anticipate. I think I'll need time to sort things out. Thanks for what you did. Whatever your intentions might have been, I just need time. You're both child ass children. Childish as hell. Okay, so we need to go back to, uh. You know. So yeah, uh, whether you guys get mad at me or not for trying to do that se uh, several times, I don't care. Because half of you would just play this game, feel comfortable with positions, uh, 
you know, whatever positions you take, and then be like, okay, I'm not gonna play it again, play it again, just to see, you know, if there's a different choice to happen. You guys are like, oh, well, I always play it this way, and I'm gonna confess, uh, I was slightly like that, but not to that extent that I would never choose a different option just to see what happens. That's why I know what happens with the dark side options, for the most part. There's a few I got wrong, but usually the ones I get wrong they're situational. So I need to either go to, th no, no, it's not the Zerka Corporation, isn't it? The Hunter's Lodge where you where you get money for the uh, the raids. I uh, don't know. Maybe. Hey, what's up, Jawa? Well, thank you for remembering that. I probably won't die on this planet, though, so I don't know how you're going to remember that. Okay. So, one of these is the Hunter's Lodge. I think it's that door over there. Oh, for crying out. You guys need to hurry the fuck up. Kendra, stop sulking in Juhani. I don't know what you're doing. You know, I'm this close to taking them both out of the party. Where the... Okay, Juhani just... Okay, thank you. Where the hell did they go? I bet you Juhani was stuck talking with the Jawa. <sighs> okay, I think it's... Yeah, I have something to sell you. Okay, let's see. We gotta sell... Oh my god, I really don't feel like looking through all this just for... Is that the bottom? I don't know. Oh, there it is. Well, they're not worth much, but whatever. I don't know. Should I, I mean, they're not even worth anything. I thought it was someone here. See, I don't want to sell it to him if he's not the person. I thought someone buys it from you. But I'm not sure. I guess he's, I don't know. He's the only one here. And this guy, he likes to play Pazak. I don't know. I don't even freaking remember. Yeah, what are you? Oh, I didn't. Okay. He's willing to talk, but I'm not ready to talk right now. We can do that on the ship. Okay. I might as well sell it to him. Now I know some of you, some of you guys could be like, "You shouldn't have sold it to." Oh wait, question about. I just want to buy my inventory. I don't care. Oh wait, wait, wait. Okay, so. Okay, he did take them. Okay, I see. It didn't seem like he did, but I was. I must have been looking at the. Okay, well, whether he did or he didn't, let's go. I know this feels like a complete uh, filler episode if you guys are, you know, anime buffs. So, yeah, I just spent 34 minutes for nothing, doing nothing. But, yeah, um, I could have sworn when my playthroughs, I, I convinced... Uh, Jaggy not to be mad at Candorus, and then he's and then I think what happens is he saw he, I wouldn't say the error of his ways because it's not an error, but um, he finally got the answers he was looking for, and because he had the nerve to insult the um, the quote unquote general in charge of the Auto Clan at the time, he kills himself out of shame, apparently. So yeah, uh, I guess seppuku for the win in the worst possible. That's like the worst possible thing.
to say, but that's pretty much what he does. Sorry about that. Mic. <laughs> the mic. I did something stupid, don't ask. Okay, so we can talk to Candorus now, so we won't have to in the next episode, and we'll actually be able to do something. How do you feel, big guy? Yeah, what do you want? What are your thoughts now? This thing with Joggy. Is there something Okay. Else? So tell me about that, Working then. Working for Davik was like driving a spike through the side of your head. Sure, you got something new in there, but in the end, you've lost something as well. Beating up people who wouldn't Ooh, or couldn't ouch. pay. Strong-arming his competitors. Killing who he said. It was busy work. Nothing decent. You were an assassin. Assassin, mercenary. Yeah, let's go with mercenary. Assassins are more quiet. You just go in there blasting. <laughs> I've killed many people. I can't say I'm proud of it, but I have. Criminals, competitors, businessmen, police, women, children. Jedi were a better challenge. But they hardly ever poked around in the Undercity. Until you came along. But I never wanted to challenge you. Never felt the need. Maybe I knew I couldn't win. I see. Just like all those years ago. You might be able to win. I don't know. But I think we might already know the answer. Uh, a wise decision, I suppose. Yeah, probably. <laughs> you probably would have beaten me again. Maybe if I could beat your army, I probably could beat you, seeing that you're one person. You've changed. And maybe I have to. I remember a time when I could do anything I wanted. Kill, maim, murder. It was all the same to me. But now, now that I am older, I can look back and regret. <laughs> I had to make him laugh, you guys. That's like a warrior He's miserable shirt. right now. Like what you'd see in a Mandalorian. In a Mandalorian. I'm not even sure what that is anymore. The Mandalorian are gone. Defeated by the Republic. A, by a bygone clan, apparently. I look back and regret well, all the chances I had as a warrior. I'm referring to the Ordo and clan in particular. I, I, I shouldn't be getting like this. Not when so many other things are happening, but... It feels Snap like, out of it, Candorous. Like something has changed inside and I don't know what it is. Ah, this is unbecoming a warrior. Let's get on with everything before I start getting sentimental or something. Is there something else you want to know? Your choice. So yes, there's character development in Candorous, which is very surprising. But it does happen if you get to know him enough. No, no, it's the purple one I want to... Bondar. Okay, I'm gonna probably get rid of Bondar. We're at the point in the game where it might not work that that. I don't know. No, you know what? I'll leave it because I just I just realized. Um, that actually I wouldn't say it saved us, but we did get away with murder a couple of times. So, I'm gonna go back to Korriban. And then I'm going to end the episode because we spent enough time doing nothing. And next episode, if nothing else stupid happens, we should be on Korriban and we will explore the surface. Now keep in mind that Korriban is the Sith world. And again, see this is what I'm talking about. You guys. Play the first Saints Row. If you if you have an Xbox 360, play the first Saints Row. You will learn that whenever, one, whenever the third three Saints beat a territory, you're going to be stuck doing something like this, except it's going to take a lot longer. Oh my god, that sun glare. This is bullshit. I shouldn't have to do this all the time. This is Malik's fault. That's why I'm going to kill his ball. Underbite looking mother Baron Von Underbite. I'm gonna kill this damn thing. Get your ass over your ship so you can. That's what I thought. <sighs> I 
hate that crap. Come on, let's get on with it, man. I, I am so pissed off right now. I would say triggered, but I know. See, triggered is when somebody does something you don't expect happening, and then you get mad. No, I expect this crap. I think I've raged more than I've gotten triggered. <laughs> Cause triggered that could that come out of nowhere anyway. Uh, thank you for joining this filler episode of Star Wars: Knights of the Old Republic. This is your boy Beastamon, and next time we will actually be on the surface of a uh, court. Well, we already are, but we will actually see the surface of Corbin. Later.